Alright guys, I'm uh, finally out of school and uh, I have a five day weekend now, um, that's including Saturday and Sunday, I have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday off, so I'll be getting a lot of stuff done for you guys, hopefully. Now uh, first off, off the bat right now, I'm going to show you how to reinstall official firmware on a PSP 1000 model, not 2000, not 3000, 1000 model. Don't do this on a PSP 2000 because 1.50 official firmware was never installed on a 2000 model, okay? I've had people from my old channel install 1.50 on a PSP 2000 and realize that they're like, uh-oh. Yeah, notice how there is no enable the WMA playback because it's already enabled on 3.71 that's the first firmware for a PSP 2000 but anyways PSP 1000 official firmware 1.50 we're gonna install on this we're gonna use the Hellcats recovery flasher and you are also so you're gonna need to download the Hellcats recovery flasher and also you're gonna need to download the 1.50 official firmware eboot.pbp and I will already have that renamed for you as what it needs to be, which is 150.pbp. So, let's get to it. All right, so here we are at the PSP 1000. Uh, basically, I'm just gonna go down to system information here and check my firmware, and you're gonna see that I'm running on 5.50 Gen B full. This is actually Gen B2 on there, just because B2 is not readable um, on a PSP 1000 model. So we're going to verify that this is a PSP 1000 model. So if we come to the barcode, can't even see it. Okay, well, I'll just do it the easy way. All right, so PSP 1000 model. To open the UMD drive, hit the switch. You can see that there's a switch and a lock. Verifies that it's a PSP 1000 model. Also, if you look over on the side of the PSP, you will see the WLAN switch. Also, the PSP memory stick goes in facing with the data card, or the data pickup, it faces towards the screen instead of towards the bottom of the PSP. Again, another verification that it is a PSP 1000 model. There's the Bluetooth, or the uh, Wi-Fi, as you can see, if you take a 1000 model, it's not on top. Or that's a 2000 model, my mistake. It is bulkier, fatter, the back is not as shiny. It does say UMD on the back here. Um, and another way to verify is by taking the battery and looking at the battery. And you can clearly see that that's a PSP fat battery. So, yeah, we have a PSP 1000. Now if I can fucking close this thing, which it never closes because it's an asshole. Come on, you fucker. Thank you. I had to fucking punch it to close it. God damn. My knuckle isn't swollen enough. But anyways, oh, I turned it off. Don't punch your PSP. It turns off. Anyways, so this is clearly a PSP 1000 model. So, what we're going to do now is connect a USB cable and go into USB mode and then simply come to the computer. Right, so the file I'm going to have you download is right here. It's called the rflash160.rar. If you don't have an extraction program, right click on it and say extract all to wherever you choose. If you do, just double click on it and open it up with an extraction program. Preferably I would use WinRAR just because it's the easiest one to understand out there. <clears throat> but yeah, so anyways, wait for that to open up. Alright, now it's open up. So you're going to see a recovery folder, a firmware 1.50 folder, and a readme text folder. You're going to focus on the recovery folder here. And also, what you're going to need to download is the official firmware 150.pbp. It will be renamed as that, and it has to be named that, or else this will not work. So basically what we're going to do now is go to my computer and open up the removable drive for the PSP 
and then simply open the PSP folder and the game folder and all you're going to do now is take the recovery folder from the extracted files and drag and drop that into the PSP game folder like so now just I've already done that but I'm just going to copy everything over again just to show you the process I don't need this update folder anymore so I can just delete that now on the PSP memory stick, go back until you're at the PSP memory stick root. Take the 150.pbp that you have downloaded and drag and drop that into the PSP memory stick root. And let that copy over like so. Once that is done copying over, you can exit the PSP and get rid of any other things that you like to get rid of and come back to the PlayStation Portable. Alright, so back at the PSP, we're going to exit USB mode like so, and scroll over to the game. And you're going to see the Hellcats recovery flasher underneath the icons, so start that up. Now again, you need to be on a PSP 1000 in order to do this, or else you will break a PSP 2000 or 1000. So... Install fresh official firmware 1.50. You're going to scroll down till you see that right there as you can see. Hit X on that. Now, installing official firmware 1.50 is a two-step process here. At first, it will create a new backup slot and extract the firmware into it. You can then use that restore firmware to backup function the actual install and flash and clear 1.50 on your PSP. Press X to start. I will now extract a complete set of official firmware 1.50. Now it is extracting the files and you just simply wait for this process to finish. Alright, so now that that's done, it's going to say hit any button to continue and it's going to bring you back to the main menu. Now scroll down to flash restore complete firmware from backup. Now select that and you're going to see that there's an official firmware 1.50 right there you're gonna select that hit X on that and this is just gonna say you are about to restore complete firmware from a backup please note that this is a bit more dangerous than installing a fresh one as we can't know what has been done to the files custom firmware restore let's go hit X on let's go and it will commence so basically wait for this to finish now all right, so now it's going to say finally all done and press any button to shut down. So I'll just hit X and it's going to shut down the PSP. You will notice that the power button begins to flash green and then it should go solid and then it will shut down. So I'll just wait for that to shut down now. All right, so once that has shut down, turn it back on. And you will see the Sony Computer Entertainment logo. And you're going to need to set your settings. Alright, and now if we come over to System Settings and scroll down to System Information, you will see that it is on version 1.50. Now to confirm that you are on official firmware, this is all you got to do. Hold the power button up until the system turns off. Hold down the R trigger and turn the system back on. <clears throat> and you will see no recovery menu will come up. So that confirms that you are on official firmware. So that's about it. So that's how you install official firmware back on a PSP 1000 model. I will have videos on how to install official firmware back on a PSP 2000 model. An official firmware back on a PSP 3000 model is fairly easy. You just have to remove your chicken hen and your recovery files and basically just reboot the system and the custom firmware will be obsolete because it's just like a flash firmware that's temporary so you can run homebrew applications. So other than that, thanks for watching. I hope this helps you in case you want to um, downgrade and install your official firmware back so you can sell your PSP at like a GameStop or something or bring it back to Sony for repairs. But uh, other than that, take it easy, guys. If you have any questions, leave me a comment, send me a message. I'll be happy to reply. If you have any recommendations for any other videos that you would like to see, leave a comment on my channel and subscribe to my channel to keep up to date. So take it easy, guys, and I'll talk to you later.